What's up everyone, Eckhart is here and today we're going to be doing episode 3 of Titan Souls. So last time we fought Mr. Freeze the Icy Brain Man in here. So we had to set him on fire, melt his ice cube and then stab him in his squishy squishy brain with our arrow. And now we're just going to shoot another eye door and go through to what I assume is Stony Fist Man from what I saw in another episode, yes, that those look like stony fists. Hello. Okay, I died straight away. I, I did learn this lesson in previous video that you're not meant to stand right next to them when you shoot them because understandably they get a little bit angry when you shoot arrows into their soft, soft or hard, hard flesh. There's no single adjectives here in Titan Souls. So we've got we've to gotta stand a little bit back. You're still pissed. Okay. So you're blocking what I assume is your heart with your fists. So can we shoot? No. That was the wrong thing to do. Please stop trying to squish me. Oh, you... Okay, when you when you hitty hit, you, you leave it open briefly. But you still squish me with your hard granite hands. Oh, that's not granite. That's basalt. Sorry. I also... F I always find it hard to tell the difference. Oh, you went to a lot of effort to get those hands, did you? Well, I guess you just got burned, son. Well, well, that won't really uh, help you, will it? Because you're rock. Oh, oh dear. Come, come back. Come back, Arrow. My, my arrow's got trapped behind his hand. It's not the best place for my arrow to be. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan. Okay, I took, I took a hit there, because uh, they, they he trapped my arrow. The, the bum. The big rocky bum. I think he's going to keep hitting me with his hands. I'm going to have to keep dodging and eventually just fire at his little orangey hearty thing. Yeah, that's probably it, right? It's fun working out how bosses work on the fly. Dodge. Yes, dodge. Yes, dodge. Yes, dodge. Not dodge. That's, that's not a dodge, little guy. That's You see where your blood all went on the floor? That's... That's you getting crushed to death by giant rock hands. I know you'd always thought you'd go out with a whole coop of chickens, seven bottles of tequila, and three cleaners. But that's not the way it's going to be. It's, go it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be that again, really. Come on then, if you think you're hard enough. Oh, you, you do think you're hard enough because you're made of rock. Okie dokie. No. Got to learn the pattern, really, haven't I? It's one, two. It's a one, two punch, basically. A good old one, two punch. Beloved move of all professional boxers and pugilists. I think pugilists might actually be boxers, though, so they might not actually need two categories, but I'm sure there'd be some people who would consider themselves pugilists, mainly 19th century Victorian men, and there'd be others that consider themselves boxers. I've done the same thing with my arrow. Gosh darn. Gosh darn it. Okay, that pisses him off too. I can just shoot his hand. So, yeah, you do look a bit scary with your big... Oh, hello. Are you doing... You're doing swappy swaps at the moment, aren't you? Oh, that was weak. <laughs> weak. Come on, then. Oh, really? Jeez. L give over. Yeah, thank you. Hey, there we go. When you dead, you dead, son. Come on, Arrow. Yeah, give me all the souls. Come on, let me do the spinny dance. The spinny, spinny soul reinvigoratory dance you big one-eyed rocky monster maybe I'm the monster maybe well you dead now so I don't know do we go up to this big door that was up here now does that let us through or do we go back to the checkpoint I'm gonna try try the big ass door because that seems likely doesn't it will you open now you look glowy Okay, we got an achievement out of the frying pan. 
Uh, into the fire. Ooh, that's a nice door opening animation. Nice. So, we've we've finished the we haven't finished the game. It's definitely not the end. And to be honest, this is a little bit ominous. This huge chamber. Hello. Ooh. What's this? Oh, it's a lift. Oh, okay. Really, really want some music. Really. Uh, do 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, there we go. That's sort of like music that you'd expect maybe in a Native American lift. Maybe in one of the many casinos that now are on the reservation, sadly. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's a big open world now. Now, as far as I know, there's no one else to fight in this open world. It is just the big bosses. But it's lovely. I, I really dig the music in this as well. We'll just swim over here. And because we can face the gods. Are they gods? I don't know what they are. Nope. In any order, we'll, we'll just go over here because I like waterfalls, essentially. And I may be fickle in that regard. And this boss may be counting on that. That I'll just get entranced by waterfalls. But screw it. We'll go give it a go, won't we? Into the big cave we go. Oh, hello. You like the blue, don't you? Do you? I don't even know. There's no boss. I hope I'm not stair fighting a boss. Could you slow down when you're on the stairs? Let's just get get the pace up a little bit, right? Oh, going up the mountain, are we? Up to the tippy tip top. Ooh, can I get fire arrows? Yes. That's nice. Can I melt this snow? No, because I'm a terrible shot. Can I melt this snow? No, because I'm a terrible shot. Maybe if I stand right next to it. Can I melt this snow? No. Please? Oh, I can roll through them. Oh, that's fun. Bop! There we are. That was what we were meant to do. I mean, there's probably a super secret special boss if you destroy all of their snow forts. It's just a little kid and they get really annoyed and they come out and then they have a gun and they shoot you. That'd be, that'd be sad. Oh, so here's... Oh, there's puzzles! Oh, that's nice. Well, I say puzzles. Lighty, lighty the torches, as it's well known in puzzle game language terminology. The lingo of puzzle games. Okay, so have, have I done it now? Can I win? Can I, can I melt you? No, because I'm a terrible shot. There we go. We did the melty ice. Why it didn't melt the snowdrift earlier, I don't know. So I'm betting there's a little mini boss in here. I'm not sure if this is a obligatory boss. Oh, is it Rayquaza? Hello. I bet you'd be annoyed if I hit this, wouldn't you? It, it does look like you're annoyed. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, it's Rayquaza. He's even got electricity. Hello. Is there anything else that I need to hit? Oh, no, you just go electric, electric. Okay, I think I can hit your tail. It looked purpley, and everyone knows purple is the colour of weakness. Oh dear. Oh! Oh, the water was electric. Great. Great. So I'm back. No! Oh. Oh, that's a shame. Why did the elevator activate then? Okay, well, I've died again. I'm going to catch this elevator back up. We'll go for a little explore. Go for a little explore in another direction. There might be a boss closer by. Or a checkpoint that doesn't spawn you back on a lift. That'd be nice. It's a little bit annoying that that happened. Maybe just up these stairs. I mean, they probably expect you to go forwards first, right? Oh, okay. So there's all the bosses I need to beat. I've, I've killed one, have I? Did I just fall down those stairs in a really unspectacular fashion right well I'm probably going to call an end to the episode there because we've been wandering for long enough and this area is huge but I'll go and tackle some more bosses in the next episode in what is to be commonly called episode 4 don't know why just imaginative 
Imagination is the name of the game here. I've been headquartered. This has been Titan Souls Episode 3. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Ta-ra for now!